within five days, I went back to Texas, packed up my whole family, knowing no one in Florida, we came out here and it was just focused on the grind because I had no other way. We are the door-to-door -door experts and we're on a mission to bring honor and integrity to the door-to-door -door space. To do this, we put our creative heads together and developed a show highlighting some of the top performers in the industry. We travel the US to document incredible stories, successes, and challenges. It's not about selling and it's not about us. This is Beyond Knock. What's going on guys? My name is Ruben Ayala. I am from a border town, El Paso, Texas, bordered with Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. So I was raised, I guess a little bit different because we were born in the United States, but lived in Mexico. And my parents wanted us to learn English, so we would cross over the bridge every single day to go to school in the United States. So that's how I learned English. From there, I've always been in kind of like, I've, I've had 19 jobs before I found solar. And so I've done it all from selling life insurance to real estate, to waiter, to cooking, which I really enjoyed, um, to basically just about anything you can imagine. And so when I got into the door-to-door -door space, I was in need of something different that could, you know, put me in a completely different trajectory. I was tired of the nine to five. I was tired of, you know, somebody telling me how much I was worth on an hourly job or a salary. I had a salary. I thought that was awesome, but I just realized I was a slave to the employer. And so when I found the opportunity to go into the door-to-door -door space and, you know, everything's uncapped, and it's really just on how much you invest into yourself, how good you become yourself doing what it is and how disciplined you can get to reach your goals. I was like, dude, this is the, this is the way for me. This is the avenue. And, um, you know, solar was just kind of starting and um, I didn't know how to say the word kilowatt. I didn't know, you know, what net metering was. I didn't know any of that. And I kind of just went out there, started talking to people. I came to Florida for two weeks and I, you know, was at a time where I was here for two weeks and if in two weeks I did not perform, there was no other, you know, plan. I kind of burned all my bridges and all my ships and I got, you know, seven deals the first two weeks. Out of those seven, two canceled, five stuck. And I realized the amount of money that was behind that, even though it took three months to, you know, get paid, I was like, dude, I'm moving to Florida. I remember picking up the phone, making a call saying, hey, I'm moving to Florida. This is what we're doing to my family and le just letting them know, like, when, when are we moving? I'm moving this weekend. And so within five days, I went back to Texas, packed up my whole family, and we had uh, three month old twins, boy, girl. And so with, Three months old, learning how to be a parent, and you know, knowing no one in Florida, we came out here, and it was just focused on the grind because I had no other way. That's how I got into the industry. What motivated me the most was that you know I had left my family, I had left her family, um, I had two kids at home, and I now had three mouths to feed, and so if I was going to be outside of my house and not with my family, I knew that I couldn't mess around, I couldn't, you know, be doing stuff I'm not supposed to, like, you know, sitting in the car, watching YouTube videos, anything like that, because if it wasn't making me money, it was costing me family time. And so when I realized, you know, like, dude, this is, if I'm gonna be out here, I'm gonna be busting, you know, you know, full throttle, pedal to the metal, and I'm gonna be nonstop, I'm gonna make my time worth. Um, that's how I feel like I just became successful at it. And then it just became addictive, you know. When you started getting one deal, it, it felt great. I remember my first month I got eight deals and I felt like I was, you know, on top of the world. And then I said, how fast can I get, you know, um, how many deals can I get in a day? And so I've gotten six deals in one day. And so for me, that was like, dude, what I could do in a month, I did in a day. And so it just became, you know, a constant, you know, challenge for myself of like, how many deals can I get today? Average day, you know, we'll get two. Like yesterday, we got, you know, two deals. And now, what really motivates me is sharing this opportunity with other people. And so what I keep telling people is, I remember writing in a notebook, I wanna be making 20 grand a month, I wanna be making 20 grand a month. And every time something got hard, I would come back to my car and instead of crying, I'd just be like, it feels so good to make 20 grand a month. And just write it. My first paycheck was for $46,000. And so I was like, dude, I was thinking way too small. So now I wanna have, you know, over 100 people 
making 20 grand a month and that's something that is completely different challenge because that I know I can close a deal and I can sell and I can door knock I can do that now it's how do I get other people you know incentivized move in out in the hot sun getting their ke teeth kicked in and you know bringing in some money because what I realized was when you start helping other people people you don't even know also get helped and so it's a ripple effect so I figured if I can help you know 100 reps make 20 grand a month minimum every single uh, month, then I'm going to be impacting thousands of lives. You know, their parents, friends, families, neighbors, and it just becomes, you know, addictive. And so that's what gets me going in the morning. One of the most difficult things I believe in the spaces is, you know, family and friends not believing in you or thinking that door to door is not a real job and kind of having that adversity all the time. You know, from your partner to, you know, friends, families, people telling you like, dude, just get a real job to like, you're down that day, you've gotten three, four cancels, people are calling you saying, never mind, I don't want to go through with it, you know, um, and then you open a door and someone just yells at you and you're like, get a real job, like, get a real job, like, go stop bothering me or things like that. And they talk to you like you're the lowest of the low. And, you know, that was kind of my biggest you know, I, I guess challenge was just getting people to believe in what I saw because when you see the vision and you're the only one that sees it and nobody else sees it and everybody else is telling you to do something else, I remember getting told, become a cop, you know, have a nine to five, you already have kids, like stop, you know, playing around with your life, like just, just, just get a job financial security, like get something where you know money's gonna come in, not this roller coaster of like, oh, I didn't make a sale, or today we're winning and then for two, three days you don't make a sale and you don't know what's going on. And that was kind of like the biggest thing is just looking people in the eye and saying like, get out of my lane if you're not gonna help me and I'm so committed to myself and if I'm ever gonna take a bet on someone, it's gonna be on me and that's it. Like, get out of my way if you're not gonna help me. And then after you do that, and after you commit to yourself and you sell yourself on yourself, that's when other people start calling you and asking you for advice. And you know, all of a sudden, people talk about how they met you and how they know you and how they've seen you go through your struggles. But at the end of the day, it's only you. It's only you. If you ever need to figure anything out, sit down in an empty room, put what you want on one side, put what you don't want on the other side, and put your distractions on both sides and then start eliminating. And that way you'll get you know, clear with your intentions and you can be intentional in what it is that you want. Because if it's not pulling you closer to your goal, it's pulling you away from your goal. There's no either or, you know? And so you just need to keep going and you need to focus on what it is that you want. I would suggest, you know, write your goals multiple times a day because that's what's gonna continue to re-inspire you and, and kind of remind you of what it is that you're doing and your purpose. You know, a lot of people don't have a purpose. A lot of people make, you know, resolutions on the last day of the year and then two weeks into the year they forget about them and they just go back into the cycle. Don't be that person. Just keep writing them every single day. A great success story, I, I mean, I have many, but I'm gonna go with, you know, a dream that everybody has in the United States. I feel like everyone wants to be a homeowner. And so, you know, when you're in the door-to-door -door industry, first of all, you're 1099, most, most companies. You don't have two years of track record, so banks will not even look at you or give you loans. And so a huge success story was just kind of, you know, buckling down because now I had a family. We didn't want to live in an apartment. We had, even though it was like a luxury apartment, everything like that, it was kind of like, you know what, I'm knocking doors every day and I'm focusing on building up, you know, my savings. And I remember knocking on this one door and the lady's like, yeah, I'm not interested. I don't want solar. And I'm over here trying to overcome it, overcome it. She's like, dude, fact of the matter is I'm moving out of this house. I'm just trying to sell it. And so I, I looked at the house and I was like, how much do you want for your house? And she's like, X amount, right? And I said, you know what? Let me go to, let me go to FedEx. I'm going to go print out a contract and I'll buy your house cash. And I bought her house cash. And that was my first house. After that, I bought four houses the following year. And so that's just what you can do in the door-to-door -door space, man. If you just buckle down and you do it, you know, right now. We have a house with the pool, with beautiful everything around it, where we host the team most of the time. Breaking bread is very, very important. But that's my personal success story. Another success story would be, 
Seeing a 21 year old, you know, his name was Bryce, still is Bryce, you know, um, started working with us and just saw the drive and just seeing how like focused he was. And then one day I call him and I said, hey, how much is in your bank account six months after he started working with us? And he's like, over hundred grand. And I'm like, dude, hell yeah. You know, that's huge success because you always want to see other people win. The more success you have, the more you want others to succeed because you know it's so possible and it's out there. Your belief lit just goes through the roof, right? Um, after that, we had another rep come in and within three months, he already had over a hundred grand. So now I'm trying to, you know, close the time frame on that and that's kind of like what I'm focused on.